Your phone is ringing, and it's ringing in spectacular fashion. I just have to say, the greatest ring the world has ever seen. And on the other end of the phone, who's there? You look at the caller ID. We call it caller ID. And they say ID is racist. Caller ID. It could be a credit card scam, or it could be a car warranty, or it could be, on the other end of the phone, the greatest president the world has ever seen. So you might want to pick this one up and see who's there, believe me. Well, how y'all doing? It's Papa again. And it's time to do another Harbor Freight Tool Review. I hadn't done a Harbor Freight Tool Review in a while. And I was look, stumbling around here looking for my skill saw and I realized I left it at the farm. And Harbor Freight's two blocks from here and my farm is 20 miles from here. So, guess what? <laughs> So I decided I, I'm just going to cut up some plexiglass and I don't need a hundred dollar saw to do that. And Harbor Freight got this drill master seven and a quarter inch circular saw. Of course you got to buy, buy the blade separate and any motor that will turn the blade will work and as long as you got a, and as long as you got a good blade that's all you need. But anyway. This saw is $29.99 at Harbor Freight, and this is item number 63005 for those of you keeping track. But it's their little drill master, which is their least expensive, I don't want to call it cheap, but it is their least expensive brand name, drill master. And Harbor Freight's beginning to upset me because they're starting to offer more and more and more of the higher dollar stuff. Don't necessarily know if they're improving their quality, but they're changing brand names so that they can ask more money for stuff. So, got a little guide here. Let's see what we got. No. An Allen wrench comes with it, or some people call it a hex wrench. And uh, got a nice clear guard. What we uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting plexiglass because we're going to be putting some surfaces on our, our uh, fishing boat, and then going to take their cheap hole saw and drill some beer can holders holes and some rod holder holes so we're going to see how that turns out but anyway let's uh let's see about putting this blade on here see how it's going to do there is a there is a uh, button that you push or lever that you push that locks the locks the motor where it won't turn. So you can get in here and loosen the nut that holds everything together. And while I was at Harbor Freight I bought their Bauer 24 tooth carbide tip saw blade. It wasn't a dollar or two difference between the 24 tooth and the 15 tooth or whatever. Anyway, this was a better buy in my opinion. So let me get this on here. Let's see, blade rotation. That's right. Now this, the Bauer blade does come with a pre-punched diamond knockout where if your saw kind of has to have the the diamond shaped hole in the blade you can knock it out and use it this one doesn't a 
Well, there we are. We're tied up, ready to go. There's a plug in. I'm going to make a test cut with this thing. I've got some plexiglass here, and I'm just going to cut just a little corner off right here. It's on a scrap area. And we're going to see how well it does. One thing about cutting plexiglass. If you can't go ahead and get on through it, it melts together. Like trying to use a, uh, a jigsaw. It'll get hot, and you'll start cutting, and then the hot plastic will melt right back together right behind your blade. So, let's see what this thing will do. David, you might not want to sit there. I might be blowing plastic your way. Okay. Alright. Like I said, this is just a test cut. Oh. That blade wasn't attached very well. Let me unplug it and try stuff again. You saw it here first, folks. <laughs> and I took that thing off just exactly the way it went on. I mean, I put it back just the way it came off. Maybe I didn't have that seated properly. So see, folks, if you screw something up, one thing about it now, if I mess something up, I'll let y'all see it because it could be something you run your, yourself into a problem there. Or keep you from having. Yeah, maybe you can. Uh, this old Abraham Lincoln used to say, a wise man learns from his mistakes but a genius learned from mistakes of others. Well, all right, let's see if we can, let's see if this thing cut now. Oh, that looks better. Much sounds fun. better too. You go ahead and lean on that plastic here so maybe it won't move. All right, let's see if we can slice through this. Like nobody business. Stuck now. That's all right. All right, folks. Made a nice clean cut. Good clean of each. Yes, ma'am. All right, that's fine. Love you, bye. So folks, if you need an inexpensive saw just to do general homeowner type activities, I can recommend this saw, even though I only made one cut. With, with this saw and the combination of the 24 tooth uh, carbide tip blade from Bauer, Arbor Freight, uh, it worked great. You heard how smooth it runs. So I will, for the price, of $29.99 on this saw, I will give it two thumbs up. Sounds good and runs smooth. Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye everybody! Thank you for subscribing to my papa's channel.
secret code word is carbide. <laughs>